Hey, what's going on people, Rare Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the best settings to apply and configure for your NVIDIA control panel to get most of your graphics card. Your computer will perform much faster, your GPU will be more optimal and you will get much better FPS with this video. So make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, first things first is getting your NVIDIA graphics card drivers updated. It is really important that you always keep your NVIDIA graphic card drivers up to date. If not, you have to go and download NVIDIA GeForce Experience. I'll be leaving a link to this application down in the description below. Once you have downloaded and opened it up, the application should look like this. Basically, you have to go and scroll over to the driver section and make sure that you always update your drivers to the latest version. In my case, I have a driver update pending, so you always have to make sure that you update the drivers to the latest version if not already done. Since NVIDIA keeps your GPU up to date with the new driver updates, so I highly recommend you guys to do the driver updates. Once you're done with the driver updates, what you're looking for is NVIDIA Control Panel. You can download it from Microsoft Store or NVIDIA's official website. Simply search for NVIDIA Control Panel this time. Now, once this window pops up, you have to go and hit over to the Adjust Image Settings with Preview and make sure to use the Advanced 3D Image Settings. This is really important. Then click on Take Me There and it will take you to the Manage 3D Settings. Right over here, follow the best settings for global ones uh, for the image scaling i would recommend you guys to leave it on and keep it to somewhere between 50 to 60 percent basically if you play your game on a lower resolution and you upscale it you will still get a quality gameplay but with much better fps so image scaling is a really good option and i would recommend you guys to keep it on ambient occlusion and everything related to ambient occlusion and anisotropic filtering i would always recommend you guys to turn that off but with an exception of the gamma correction you always want to need it on this will take care of your in-game colors and 3d images so i highly recommend you guys to keep this thing on coming to the background application max frame rate i would always recommend you guys to keep it on and leave it to somewhere between 20 to 30 this will basically limit the application fps running in the background so your games will get a lot of fps boost if the applications running in the background are learning on a lower frame rate then on the CUDA GPU, I would always recommend you guys to select your main GPU and keep it all to be precise. Now then for the DSR factors, I would always recommend you guys to keep it off. Low latency mode should always keep it to ultra. This will basically reduce the input latency. For the max frame rate, keep it off. Multi frame sampled MFAA, I would recommend you guys to keep this off as it has an impact on your GPU performance. Then for the OpenGL GDI compatibility, keep it auto. OpenGL rendering GPU, make sure that it is a primary GPU. Power management mode should always be prefer maximum performance. and prefer Preferred refresh rate should be highest available. Also, for the shader cache, you can go with driver default, but if you want to, to limit it to 5 GB or 10 GB, you can do so. What this will basically does is when it hits the maximum capacity that you have set over here, it will automatically clean the cache and automatically making space for the new cache to be set. And this will automatically improve your performance if you want to. I'd like to set it to driver default, but you can go with 5 to 10 GB, whatever you like. For the texture filtering and isotropic sampling, keep it off. Negative LOD bias, make sure to keep it allow. Texture filtering quality should always be high performance. Texture filtering, trilinear optimization and threaded optimization, you would always want this on. That will take advantage of multiple CPUs. Then for the triple buffering, you would always want this thing to be off as it will save a lot of input latency as well as the rendering latency and you always want to keep it off. Vertical sync, I would prefer you guys to go with off and then rest of the things beneath that keep it to the lowest settings go ahead with the configure surround physics over here for the processor make sure to click and select on to your gpu over to your cpu and that will utilize your gpu in priority then in the display section you'll find adjust desktop colors and over here i would recommend you guys to increase your digital vibrance a little bit up to 70 percent and that will saturate a little bit of your colors and it will give you a much better gaming experience then go down and find the adjust video colors 
settings over here and for the color i would recommend you guys to increase the saturation a little bit up to 60 percent and that will make your monitor look a little bit more vibrant and brighter then in the advanced settings make sure that it is set to full by default many monitors have it set to limited but i would always recommend you guys to set this thing to full and that will give you the more depth of colors the blacks in your game and allow you to get much much better and smoother visibility while you're playing games like fortnite csgo valorant and much more so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it really helps me out also thanks a lot for 100k subscribers i really appreciate your support We'll see you guys in another brand new video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.